Hey everyone and uh, welcome to today's tutorial where we are going to be creating a peel off effect. Um, we're going to be creating a gold peel off effect for a cosmetic uh, bottle. So I think this is a really nice and really practical sim simulation to do. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys how to do it. Um, also a massive thank you to all of you who saw and supported my last video. Um, kind of exploded a little bit, so it was really nice to see and helps keep me motivated. Also, a huge thank you to the four of you who are now part of my Patreon. Um, it really helps me out, and of course, you will have access to the all of these blend files, as well as being able to just write me if you have any questions about being a 3D artist or a, about a Blender in general. So, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, let's just dive straight into this tutorial today. So today we are going to be creating this peel-off effect, as I mentioned earlier. And um, what we're going to do is, let me just go into this mode here first. And you can see this is the effect that we are going to be creating. So how are we going to do this? So first of all, I'm actually going to de be deleting this one here, this object here, because I'm just going to do it with uh, from scratch with you guys. So I'm just going to be toggling this one away. And then with my initial bottle, I'm going to be duplicating this one. So I'm making a duplicate and just hitting right click to snap it back into its place. So let me just go out of this so it goes more quickly. So. Right now, as you can see, we have the other uh, bottle in here. And um, what we want to do is that we want it to be kind of displayed a bit outwards. So it's actually quite easy to do. What we're going to do is that we are going to be adding... Let, let me just delete this one. It's because the original bottle needs to have a collision so that the peel off effect is kind of yeah, the flakes are peeling off of the bottle and not into it. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean. So, and I'll just move this one up to the sim up here. So, the first thing that we need to do is to be adding a modifier called Displace Modifier. And as you can see, it goes all crazy, and we just need to be turning the mid-level down to zero and the strength down to zero point. Let's just try here. <laughs> Looks kind of cute. It's still way too big so let me just do one more and now if I go into the x-ray mode here you can see that we just it just sort of go out of the on top of the the other bottle here so let me just go back here so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we can just this is all we need to do with this one we can just add a particle system because we're going to be affecting particles with forces and with proximity. Uh, we need to have these uh, particles behave in interesting ways. So we need to add a particle system. And first of all, I want to say that there are other tutorials on YouTube showing you how to do these peel-off effects in, in Blender. And But I just wanted to give my take on it and I just wanted to show you how it's also really practical for like, for example, a commercial where you want to reveal a cosmetic product, for example. So I know there's other tutorials uh, that do similar stuff like me, but um, yeah, just wanted to, to make that clear. But under the particle system, under the emission, I'll just turn it down to 100, let's say. And um, you can see here, uh, the button is also nicely, um, you know, quad, and there's a nicely geometry in this bottle here, and it needs to have kind of a lot of subdivisions because um, the flakes are, are easier calculated, and we will get more detail into our final animation this way. So I'll just delete these one because we don't need them, and then under the lifetime, it just needs to be higher than the in the timeline itself and then we can uh, under the physics 
I'm going to turn this one off and also under the render turn this one off. And the way reason I'm doing this is because we don't want the particles to have any effects before we are applying effects ourselves. And under the viewport display, I'm going to be adding it to set it to point and just click zero and point zero one, something like this. Maybe we just need to turn this one on, off again. So you can see we have these small um, particles on our object. And under the um, fill weights, we just need to turn the gravity all the way down so they don't fall when we hit uh, play. But yeah, this is all we need to the particle system. And then we're going to do a cool effect where we are going to explode the geometry based on our particle systems. So we are going to be breaking up the bottle, uh, but not manually, we're going to use the explode modifier. And you can see already something that is happening here to our object. And uh, we can check, uh, check cut edges. And now you can see over here that it kind of creates sort of flakes. This is exactly what we want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just convert all of this into a mesh. Boom. And uh, as you can see, when I toggle it on and off, we have our original object, our original bottle, and then we can just, on top of it, have our newly displaced, broken up object. So what we're going to do now is that we are going to be creating a cloth modifier because we need these to act like cloth. And you can see it went crazy. That's because I'm on frame 90. Let me just go back to point one here, frame one. And then under the class settings, I actually made a preset when I tested it. Uh, so I want, want to spare you for all of the testing. You need to do testing yourself, uh, depending on the object that you have and also the scale of your scene. And yeah, you know, a lot of experimentation needs to be done. But the quality steps I chose was 20 and the speed multiplier I actually went with 0 0.1 because I wanted to uh, just have the simulation go way slower when when uh, when it's affecting. And then, uh, yeah, these are the other settings. The turn this one all the way down, the bending to 0 0.1. And then um, I hit self collision. I think I turned this one all the way up to 10 or something. I don't think you need it. And under the fields rays, we turn all the way down. So now we actually have our class simulation set up. But what happens where if I play play now is that uh, all of the class is just going to explode right out of a uh, Hard of the gate, so to speak. And this is something that you might want to do, but I want to have, just like the last video I did, I want to uh, affect when and where the um, effect is going to happen and how much it's going to affect give in a given time. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the vertical proximity again. It's really a nice tool. So, um, First of all, we need to assign all of the vertices. So I'm going into the edit mode, selecting all of my objects here. And then I'm going into the vertex here. This is for the old one. I'm just going to create a new one here and click assign. And this is all we need to do. And then under the cloth simulation here, we just need to pin it to this group here. And this is all we need to do to the cloth. So. The next thing that we need to do is, I'll just check, uh, toggle this one off, is that I added this proximity here, this empty object here. And uh, as you can see here, the way that it's working is that it's just, you know, keyframe to go a bit above from the top here and then go down um, to the middle here, affecting all of the bottom. And just in like in the last tutorial, we're going to be adding the vertex rate proximity. The target object should be our empty and the vertex group can be our new vertex group. And then proximity mode is set to geometry. And then we need to pick these one here. Also the fall off needs to be smooth. And then we need to pick, uh, pick the lowest and highest value. Uh, the highest value needs to be the same size as this empty here, but you need to experiment with these values. I know from the other one, at 4.7 and 5 meter works for my scene. So I'm just going to be dialing 4.75 and 
And then under the highest, I'm going to be guiding in five. And when I now go into the weight paint, you should be able to see how our empty sphere here is affecting the proximity of our object, driving the effect that we are looking after. So this is really nice. So, and we need to be adding this before the cloth, of course. Um, so the cloth is affecting afterwards. And then you can add a subdivision a surface modifier here, maybe set it to simple experiment, whatever you want afterwards to create a more nice flakes. Maybe you like the way they are. So this is all you need to do basically. And then we're just going out of the object mode and then you're actually just going down here and um, yeah, you're just going to bake this one and um, then just save it just in case. And then if I play a baker, you can see that now we have baked our object here. So this is actually all, all we need to do in order to get this one, um, you know, yeah, simmed and, you know, have the peel off effect. And, um, yeah, I think this is all you need to do. Of course, you need to remember to <laughs> toggle on the view poles and you know I have sometimes I forget and then you bake it out and you don't know what's happening but of course you need to, to toggle this one on so after this I'm just going to delete this one and if I turn this one off again you can see we also have the vertex group here from our original uh, gold foil and the class settings is also here and it's baked out so you can see we have this effect here. So this is a really cool effect. And um, just what I want to mention here in the in the end is I just went with a, a, a wind force field here and I set it to a lot. You need to experiment also uh, just to have a sort of direction to this effect here also. Uh, but they are of course also um, affected by the proximity itself here. So, yeah, the shading is just a gold material I found online and uh, I did some fingerprint and scratches on, on this bottle and made it into sort of like a plastic material. The background light is a gold box texture. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I bought that package and, uh, yeah, I just put an area light here just to, the, to do the front here just to add a bit more light. Um, yeah, and uh, I also did some compositing, I think. Yeah, I added some some blurs. I'm, you know, going in to, uh, across the scene and did a bit of glare also. Um, I used an HDRI also and, you know, but that's all for another tutorial on texturing. And But, of course, it's just as important as the sim itself. But, um, but yeah. So uh, this is all I got for today and uh, happy to be doing more of these tutorials and uh, interacting with all of you guys. So um, thank you very much for your support and uh, see you next. Bye.